boom. Viewers, subscribers, back again for this Monday, Monkey Monday, because trust, if it's not for it from King Mix, if it's not credible, I keep on telling you that you don't know the things that people want to bless up on the pump of itself. But you know my style already, one bag of one in a one, my naga live is very back full, you see me, sir, as you can see in the headline and many more, that is not, you see me. Why people just hit the like button you know, and share the video enough from now so we can get into it where I try to reach by the honest. I need your help in doing so, baby. <laughs> so let's just kick it off. Okay, people. The moment I have been wearing, waiting for my opinion on Summer Jam 2022, particularly with the Jamaican action Sia and Skilly Band. It's immersive. I do want to know what I think about the performance well people just wait a little bit longer um in this video you feel what i'm saying first let me be the messenger that i be and tell you what the people them is saying and the people them particular the besties um is saying shensia flopped as well as some americans is saying that everybody on the lineup flopped you know what i mean um and i'm, I'm judging that by the shade room um, comments, because you know that is the American um, area, you see me, I say, uh, you know, they, it, it is what most people is saying about dancehall artists in the Jamaica, the particularly the young ones, and I'm seeing it's the same thing that they're saying about hip-hop artists in America, that them don't know how to perform, you see me, I say, um, they're talking about these people lip-syncing, you know, the stage presence is off, you know, you know the typical things. I'm not going to read all of the comments for the button. I can see. What am I saying? Uh, what am I saying? Honestly, I can't even lie to her. No, I'm trying to find her performance and I can't find it. I'm only finding little snippets. You see me, I say. But it looks like regular Shensia to me. Um, um, but a lot of people is saying that a DJ black boy, why she flopped. You see me, I say. Uh, even though she was performing early, they had her as an opener. But you have to know she's, she's a newcomer, you know what I mean? So she's definitely going to open up Summer Jam. Is him, I say. But the people that must say a DJ black boy makes you flop, is him. And if that's true, that's the second time it happens. Is him, I say. Um, can you know Shensia lip syncs when she's on stage? Mix up with a little a cappella. But like I said, people, I'm just going by what... The people that miss telling me. Remember, I'm just a messenger. Don't crucify me. If you've seen the performance, um, was DJ Black Boy messing up on set? Like I said, if it was him, that's the second time he did that. You know what I mean? Boy, 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 DJ Black Boy, my them the more you to, you know. But enough about this flapped talk. Let's talk about this pop touch and see who's sweet in the middle. The man, them one, yama for breakfast and dinner. You see me, I say. Why, 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 people? I mean, I remix 50 Cent music, you know. But let's talk about this, people. Put in the comment section. Is Shensia the first female dancehall artist to make it on Summer Jam stage? Um, especially on the flyer. You know, for some reason, I'm thinking that some reggae singer made it, you know. But I could be wrong. Also... Uh, it's never a coincidence in a dance hall and you know my style already because some of them go on next to Spice and Shensi and now watch me. We said that Spice used with blood clad, Nikki Crow, Nikki, Nikki Minaj sent in our caption. I know Shensi is using my headline in her caption because she said disrespectfully, I don't want to be around nobody except my family and my team right now. Like I want a break from dealing with people. For real, for real. I just think I need that. Locked in with love and music. You see me, I And then she took to the Twitter to say, I work hard. I'm always doing something that makes me progress. And that is the coincidence. Progress is what I put in my headline. She says progress. Um, about 13 nine hours ago. And she did that nine hours ago on Twitter. So she says, and the rest of them is listening to me. So I want to look to dry front, dry lace. Hey, listen, hey, hey. But anyway, people, let's talk about the mix up. You know, Vivio, whether Flivio, whatever her name is, bring out Skilly Bang. You know what I mean? Um, what do I think about Skilly Bang's performance? He did good. You know what I mean? He definitely did better than what he did in um, Connecticut. 
You know, you got to bring your A game to Jersey, New York area, them, you know. But put respect on Connecticut, because we have people out there. But he did a good job, you know what I mean? We not take that from him, but we know that you suffer that. It looks like Shensia still not feeling skilly bang after him say 10 man touch her. He said, me, I say, cause you know, say, she didn't ever give him credit for the crocodile, you know, freestyle she did on Hat 97. She gave credit to Nicki Minaj, you know. So, I don't know. And I mean, I find so that go on between Shensia and Skilly Bang from out there, yeah, you know. But we see what I mean, Sham um, is trying to make good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because him can't depend on Shensia forever, you know. Ah, boy. But to see the two Jamaicans, them. At the heights of the career, kind of awkward, you know. Why, 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 why? Why, Skilly Shensia look like she ready for dig out your eyeball, you know. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> but anyway, let's proceed to the next update. Because but I hate for review that Shensia wap wap skilly bang, you know. You remember the last time twenty one service said Shensia was a Jamaican ho and that him fucker and all them thing yeah. She do the song saying saying that she gave him twenty one out of the clip. Yeah you know I mean Bye 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 <laughs> Anyway baby let's proceed to the next one. Now, popular YouTuber um, has been arrested for domestic violence in America. Yes. And it's a vendetta um, vlogger, I should say. But you know that vlogger they like for imitate vibes cartel. If you know who I'm talking about. You see me, I'm saying we'll get to the names at the end of this. But let me tell you what I'm going because the vendetta vlogger... It look like she beat up him makeup artist's wife. You know what I mean? And this was a year ago. The case has been closed, but, you know, they never disclosed this to the public, even though their relationship is open. You know what I mean? So the sender is saying that, wow, these vloggers really be putting on a front. You see me, I say? But let me read you the police report to keep us up to speed on 6 2 21, approximately 15 18 hours as military time. Officer Bowen responded to, you know, blank, 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 in reference to a battery. Upon arrival, I made contact with JC, you know what I mean, who advised she was involved in a physical altercation with her husband, you know what I mean. JC husband was later identified identified as CC. The argument between the two parties began over several different financial reasons. And you know, some always the things that them did rich, you know. JC advised over the last few weeks or so she and CC has been in a disagreement over money. Today the argument started over JC that having access to one of the couple's accounts. She requested access from CC in order to pay a bill in which he denied her access. JC and CC were engaged in a verbal agar- argument for roughly 10 minutes. JC advised she wanted to leave the residence and requested a credit card from CC. CC was sitting on the bottom of the stairwell with the card located inside his pocket. CC also refused to give JC the card. And the two continued to scream vulgar comments at each other. JC then attempted to reach for the card in CC's pocket, which resulted in him standing up and hitting her in the face. She expressed CC, who you see on the screen right now, used an open hand and slapped her on the left side of the face twice. Wow, sounds like a pimp slap. She then ran upstairs and dialed 911. Upon speaking to CC, I was advised of a story conflicting with JC's statement. CC stated that he did in fact hit him, Sam did in fact hit JC in other face, but it was after she hit him. He stated JC hit him in the face with an unknown object which caused him to hit her back. JC denies ever being physical with CC and stated he was lying. I also made contact with JC's daughter. Um, we'll just call the daughter J.E. You know what I mean? 
who advised she witnessed the entire incident. J.E. stated she was inside of the kitchen when the incident took place and observed C.C. hit J.C. of her mother in the face. J.E. did not observe J.C. hit or use any object to harm C.C. Boy, boy, so it looked like the mother had the daughter put statement on homeboy. But anyway, let's proceed and finish this police report. It said, I did not observe any physical marks, neither CC or JC. Both parties also denied any medical attention. JC did not wish to full fill out a sworn statement and was given a domestic violence pamphlet. Based on the above facts and circumstances, I have probable cause to charge CC on things and things. It's immersive. CC actually and intentionally touched JC against her will. DCF was. Yeah, but like I said, this happened a year ago because we're still in June, you know what I mean? Um, and the case has been dismissed or dissolved or whatever, you see me? But it still stays on his record. You know, he bonded out for a thousand dollars, you see me? But we also have um, a letter from the wife to the judge. Um, requesting that the no contact order be dropped between my husband and myself. And this is the letter that I'm reading. I am in no way in fear of my life or my kid's life. The truth be told, he is really a great father to our kids and a wonderful husband. This no contact order has taken a toll on both myself and my children. My kids are constantly asking, where is daddy? He has never been apart um, from them ever. My husband has never been violent to me or anyone, and he does not have a violent history. Things have been so stressful since he is not here. He is the one that typically takes the kids to their extra lessons, gymnastics, swimming, and doctor's appointment. It is really hard for me alone because we have four kids. We have never had a domestic altercation in our 10 years of being together. I think this pandemic have taken a toll on us. However, we are making arrangements to see a counselor, so this would never happen again. Thank you so much for your consideration, JC. Now, like I said, people, I'm not going to show the people them faces, and I'm not going to release their names yet. I'm going to give them the opportunity to tell their story. But remember, said so these things is public, so I can tell it if I want to. You know what I mean? See me, I said, it was all in and out about all the blood clot. We have all of the court documents then. You know what I mean? But I give them the opportunity to tell them side of the story because, you know what I mean? If somebody else, they put out the story, you know, say picture and name gone up, you know, and you know, after we drop that review, yeah, everybody are going to run with it. So we'll probably end up, um, do the full story with the pictures and names. But me just like giving her up there, popular Jamaican YouTuber gets arrested for domestic violence in America. Sender says, people that might live double life. They come on social media and I preach godliness and all of these things and them are a problem, you know. Like I said, I don't business, you see me, I'm not just the messenger. Don't forget to come upon the Shansia and Skiddy Ben situation, you know what I mean? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe the video over here. I hit the notification bell to be notified when I drop the latest in dance on news, musical reviews, and gossips. Bless.